Welcome back to ClickCom series on how to use Facebook for business. This is part two of how to create a PPC or pay-per-click advertising campaign inside of Facebook. Okay, and let's get going. What we're going to do here today is tweak our ad. And you're going to see when I go through this that we've ran the ad for a little while. We're getting some really good statistics, but the ad's not performing as well as we like. So we're going to go ahead and tweak the ad. If you look, the name of the ad is SEO Software Analysis. The lifetime views or impressions is 450,000. The click through is 73. The click through rate is 0.02. Facebook does not like that. So it started to decrease the views and the impressions of my ad right away after just a few days. The cost per click was pretty good, 72 cents. The average cost per click, cost per impression rather, was 12 cents. And our total spend was 52. So for that many impressions and that many clicks, that's good, but we want to increase clicks. We want to try to keep our cost per click around there or down. Um, and we want to definitely get click through rate much, much higher, up to at least 2%. So we're just going to do a, a quick tweak on this. Uh, I'm going to tweak it more later. I had paused the campaign, so it's not getting any more traffic. We'll see that later. And we'll just show you this, the lifetime statistics. Seventy-three clicks on four hundred and fifty thousand impressions is not good. We do like the setup of the ad. Probably part of the click through rate is the wording on the ad. So we're gonna click on the profile and see how it looks on the profile. And it looks pretty good on the profile. Sets up nice. We're going to go ahead and edit part of the creative. Again, it's always going to show you the profile out to the right so you can see what you're changing. We're going to just change it to SEO assessment software instead of analysis software, which is just a very minor change. We're not doing any drastic changes in the video. We just want to show you how the system works. You can always go over to your profile. Make sure that you like the way it looks. We're going to change just one word in the body text. Sometimes that's all it takes. This time I think it's going to take a little bit more, but we just want to get through the video. Now we're also going to go ahead and just try to show it to our local city here. Maybe every person in the country, they don't know who we are. We have a good reputation in Charlotte. Maybe we'll get a better click through rate. We're not going to have as many people seeing it, obviously but we are going to have a more targeted audience. We're very well branded in Charlotte. We're going to go ahead and pop it up to the highest bid amount, which is still within our budget, which is only a dollar per click. So we're going to save that now that it was paused. Now, once we change this, it's going to go ahead and relaunch the ad. Now, I do want to stop and make a note here. What we did before we relaunched is the conversion of the website was probably coming into play, so we went and tweaked the actual page on the website, or we use a blog in this case. So we're tweaking the ad. We also looked at the landing page to see what was going wrong there. So then we tweaked both the ad and the landing page, and then we go ahead and we'll test this ad again. So we'll resume the playback. Now that ad just went live again. Take the internet a little bit to refresh. Go ahead, check it out on the profile real quickly. It looks nice. That's how it's going to show up on everybody's friends page and fan page. I'm going to go ahead, I didn't do this last time, but I'm going to go ahead and like this. And let me tell you the importance of that. We're up to 1,200 friends on my friend page, 300 fans on our fan page. So with that many people, as soon as I click like this ad, that's going to notify 1,200 people that we've liked something. And with that many followers, you're going to get a good percentage to click over and check, check out what you're, what you're liking on Facebook. Go back, tweak. Okay, now let's look at some of the reporting and the tracking. Some pretty sophisticated tracking, not as good as Google, 
Matter of fact, I just want to show you that you can do some conversion tracking here, but we're using Google Analytics for this and we're trying to figure out how to bust Facebook into Google Analytics so that we don't have to use two tracking methods. But if you're just using Facebook, definitely use tracking. Now settings, I want to see all my reports except for coupon expiring because I don't have any, I mean coupon budget low because I haven't set any coupons yet, so we don't need to see that. We'll just quickly go through this. You can see I can change my industry, but we're still in the technology industry, so we're going to keep it there. I can change and set up another campaign with another currency, so we're not advertising anywhere else except for in the U.S. And unfortunately, I don't have it set up for Spanish yet, but that'll probably be next. We'll have a translator at the seminar and how to do assessments. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some basic reporting, which is really nice. It shows us some really good information. It's very quick. You can set up, you see how I'm just checking up the filters of the information that I want to see, and I just want to run it on the one ad. We can run it on all of our campaigns, all of our ads. We're just going to go ahead and run it on our one ad. We're going to go ahead and run it on just April. And let's take a look at April's numbers since it's just ended. This is May 1st, by the way, May 1st, 2010, coming live. We could go ahead and throw it right into an Excel spreadsheet, but I just want to see it quickly on the web page. It takes a second to load, and it will show you the report. Impressions, click, same report broken down by day. And you can see those numbers. That we showed you the first time 450,000 views and you see it ran for the four days and you see how drastically it dropped on the fourth day with a low click-through rate like that Facebook is not going to like an ad that doesn't get more because they're trying to make money they want people clicking on your ad they want you to make money it's a fine line but if their people are not clicking on your ad they'll show somebody else's ad so I'm going to go back and tweak this report again you can see how many people looked at it that click-through rate is terrible, 0.016%. Now I'll go ahead and probably, since I'm starting to work on this campaign and we're starting to tweak the ad, I'll probably save some of this data. I'm not going to save it today, but you see how quickly it comes into an Excel spreadsheet. You can throw it into any database from there, any kind of data mining that you want to do. It's really quite a slick system. permalink it, create another report. We're going to go ahead and create a report that just had the days that we were getting traffic. I think I missed one day here, but just to show you how quickly you can drill right down into the days we were getting traffic. Take a look at all our campaigns just to show you this control panel is just nice and easy. There's a lot of help, windows, a lot of tutorials. Just want to show you the basics and how quickly and easy it is to get up and going. So this is about the conclusion of part two. And this should be able to get you going on a quick pay-per-click campaign. If you'd like any more detail, don't be afraid to contact us. We'll help you set up your campaign. It's one of our services. Um, and keep checking back for more videos. We'll do another video on this campaign once we get more data to show you the increase, hopefully, in click-through rates and see how just targeting Charlotte Market did. Thanks and goodbye.